Hello and welcome to this Raspberry Pi tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to install a VNC viewer on the Mac and also on the Raspberry Pi. VNC viewer is virtual network computing so what it's going to do is it's going to allow us to have a connection to our Raspberry Pi so we can view the Raspberry Pi's desktop but from our Mac so we don't have to connect up in any other way and we can use our Mac's keyboard monitor to control the Mac. So to get started we need to go and download a VNC viewer for the Mac. I'll pop the link in the description below but if you go to your web page and the one I'm choosing to use is called Real VNC. So you just look for the version for your operating system and click on download and follow the instructions. I've already downloaded it so I'm not going to go through that again. Once it's downloaded it should appear in your downloads folder. So I'm just going to open my downloads folder and yeah there it is. So I'm going to double click on it to open and there's the VNC viewer. So I'm just going to drag that into my applications folder and the little noise signified that it's done. So I'm just going to go to my launch pad and there it is VNC viewer. So I'm going to give that a click and it's asking, uh, just checking because I downloaded it from the internet. So is it safe to open? I'm going to say open. And there we have it. So what we need to do now is go and set this up on our Raspberry Pi. So if you go to your Raspberry Pi. So we're inside our Raspberry Pi. And what we need to do is go and fetch a VNC server. The one I found that works well on the Raspberry Pi is called Tight VNC. So we need to type in some commands to get that. So we start off with sudo, super user do, apt hyphen get install, and then tight VNC server. Tight VNC server. Press enter, and it will go off and see if it can find a tight VNC server, and it does. And now it's saying, would I like to continue? It's going to take an extra 10.4 megabytes of additional space. So I'm going to say yes. And it's going to go off and download that software for me. Okay, so a quick cup of tea later and it's finished installing. The next step is to start the VNC server. So we type in tight VNC server and press enter. And what it's asking for now is a password to access my desktops. And it can be up to eight characters. I'm just going to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Press enter and verify. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'd recommend using a slightly better password than that. Once we press enter, it's asking would we like to enter a view only password? I'm going to say no. And it's saying now that my Raspberry Pi has been created a new X desktop is Raspberry Pi colon 1. So I switch back to my Mac. And in my VNC viewer I type in Raspberry Pi colon 1. Press enter. And it gives me a little warning it will not be encrypted. That's fine. Click on continue. And it's now prompting for your password, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and click on OK. And there we have it. We're inside our virtual desktop. So there's our VNC viewer, and we're viewing the desktop of the Raspberry Pi. So we get full access to our Raspberry Pi desktop via our Mac. Fantastic. Thank you for watching.